I know that you guys wish you were still playing right now. Yeah. But go back to November, December, everything that was going on with this team to accomplish what you did. Do you view this as a successful season? Yeah, you know, I think I think the storyline about this season should really be about the guys, you know, being flexible and adaptable, and that starts with the management. You know, when uh, when things didn't start out as planned, obviously you, you have to be willing to change and adapt. And uh, management did a great job of believing in me and the ideas that I had for making some trades and making some moves. And uh, those guys that came in really obviously helped us out since the beginning of the year. We're one of the best teams in the league, and it really showed that. Uh, we got our home ice issues uh, fixed as the season went on, too, and uh, put together a nice little playoff run. So I'm um, really happy with the guys that were with us at the beginning of the season through the end because you know, they were through it, you know, through the ups and through the downs. And uh, it was neat to watch those guys, especially our captains, Pep Soge, Mo, and Shrocky. They did a great job of really stabilizing the ship there, and it was a fun ride. Year one for you running this team. How do you assess the job that you did? Well, I think there's room for improvement. You know, it's like uh, I'll tell my players the same thing. You know, I'm really looking forward to getting some new, fresh ideas and some and some different things. I know I learned a lot this year. It's a longer season. You know, 88 games I coached this year. Last year in the Southern Pro, there was 56 regular season games. So as a head coach, you got to have more stamina. You know, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. You know, and that's the, the cliche we always use. So, um, you know, I think that early on I focused a lot on the X's and O's side of things and early on I wish I would have focused more on kind of how everybody was coming in and adapting uh, personnel wise and stuff like that so I, I felt that I learned more as the season went on to keep more of a pulse on the team at all times and uh, my captains helped me do that and uh, so I think that's one of the main things I learned and obviously the recruiting side of things you know you're always learning and growing and I think I got a better read on what type of players can be successful moving forward so I look forward to building this team in the offseason. This franchise is in its third league in five years. It's won two titles, and in the third league, it knocked off the defending champs in its second year. What allows this franchise to build and develop so quickly? Well, I think it starts with management because, you know, as a, as a coach, and that's one thing that Simmer always taught me is that, you know, as a head coach, you always want more management that's committed to winning. And when management's committed to winning, they give you all the resources and the belief to, to, to do what you need to do. And, you know, when I was hired, I knew that I had that in David and Michael, and it's important, you know, uh, going from a good situation I had in Pensacola to here is knowing that management was committed to winning, and I always knew that being an assistant here. So it makes my job a lot easier, and I think it makes, you know, everybody in hockey ops, you know, Joe, Aaron, Zach, it makes us all better when you have management willing to spend the money that, and do the things that it takes to be successful in a league like the ECHL.